Hey, it's Shelly from Best Buy Canada's blog. Over the past week, I've been testing out KitchenAid cordless appliances, and today I'm going to take a look at the KitchenAid 5 cup cordless chopper. The KitchenAid cordless chopper is a smallish chopper. It's not quite as small as the KitchenAid mini chopper. It holds five cups in the BPA free bowl and it runs on a rechargeable lithium ion battery. There are two speeds on this cordless chopper. It comes with a blade for chopping as well as a whisk attachment for whisking. There's a pouring spout from the bowl and you can also use the drizzle basin on the lid to drizzle in any additives that you would like to um, add to your whatever you're mixing or chopping. All of the parts, the bowl and the whisk attachment and the blade and the lid are all dishwasher safe so you can put them on the top rack of your dishwasher and they'll wash up. To use the KitchenAid cordless chopper you'll have to insert the bowl onto the appliance. You'll add the blade or the whisk attachment depending on what you're using and you will attach the lid. The lid also has to lock into place. Once the lid is locked into place then you can use the appliance and you can't use it until you have both locked the lid and the bowl. The beauty of having a cordless chopper is that you can use it anywhere in your kitchen. You're not tied to power and once you charge the rechargeable lithium ion battery you'll be able to chop up to 40 onions before you'll need to recharge. For me it worked out to chopping uh, carrots, onions, whisking some uh, whipped cream and then I also chopped some apples before the light began to glow yellow. Here's what it sounds like when it's running. There's a built-in safety feature where you have to hold a button down on the lid as well as have the power indicator move to one or two before it'll run. So I have the whisk attachment inserted and I'm going to add a little bit of whipped cream into the drizzle basin just so you can see how that works. So that would be great if you were making hummus or some sort of dip and you just wanted to add a little bit of olive oil or some other additive. I've added half a bowl of whipped cream or heavy cream and now I'm going to blend it. Normally with my stand mixer it takes about three minutes to whip heavy cream into whipped cream. It took about 30 seconds with the KitchenAid cordless chopper to turn that heavy cream into a fairly thick consistency. After 30 seconds I added a little bit of icing sugar because that's usually what I add to make sweet whipped cream and it was done in about a minute. I was so impressed. I would definitely use the chopper to make whipped cream just considering what great consistency it was and how fast it was. I used the chopper blades to blend up a whole bunch of different things to chop up a bunch of different things. Here are some raw carrots. This is at speed one. Uh, speed one is more than enough to blend a carrot or chop a carrot up for a stew. If you want to go a little bit farther you can keep going. It basically pulverized those carrots and I did switch it to speed two at one point but it um, turned them almost into a grain. It reminded me of quinoa. That's how fine it was. So speed one or speed two uh, depending on like which one you want to use will work to almost puree raw vegetables. When I was blending the carrots I noticed the yellow light came on. That means that I have approximately a 15 to 30 percent battery life left and so I don't have to recharge yet but I will have to charge soon. I was making a big batch of apple crisp with my apples from some of my trees so I decided to use the KitchenAid chopper to try to chop the apples. I found that if you fill the bowl up a little bit too high it's a little difficult for the blades to work so I recommend chopping large batches of apples or something in batches, smaller batches, so that it works. If you find that your battery dies when you're mid-kitchen task, all it takes is a quick 10 minute charge and you can complete whatever you're doing. It should chop up to 11 onions according to KitchenAid with a quick 10 minute charge. The KitchenAid cordless chopper gives you the freedom and the flexibility to chop anywhere in your kitchen. You don't have to be tied to a power cord and the way that it whisks heavy cream blew my mind. It was so fast. That's it for my review of the KitchenAid cordless chopper. Head over to Best Buy Canada's blog for my full review. You should also check out my review of the KitchenAid cordless hand mixer and the KitchenAid cordless immersion blender on Best Buy Canada's blog too.
Thanks for watching.